Yo, what's going on, people? It's your boy State, and we're back with surprise another mining video. I know it's been a while since I posted one of these. It's been a while since I played the mode, and I actually decided to get on there and play the other day. And I ran to this guy named Eric Smooth, and look at this goddamn. He got all, all gold in my chain lineup, dog. And I knew this was going to be a rough one. Tim Duncan hanging from the rim by his elbows. And it's usually not a good sign hopping into a game. But uh, I definitely, I mean, I've seen that name Eric Smooth before. So I wasn't really sure. Maybe I just played him before. Maybe I've seen one of his videos on YouTube or something. And he sends me a message. And I'm like, all right, he's, he's talking shit. So let, 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 me, let me see what he's about. Let me see what he's talking about. So I know if I need to get in his ass or, or not. And he actually tells me he's a big fan. And then I remember the dude, he's been a subscriber of mine for a while. And I don't run into many subscribers. I don't have a lot of subscribers. So I, it's very rare that I'll run into somebody that knows about my channel. So definitely, man, good look. You know, I appreciate you subscribing. And if you run into me, man, definitely don't be afraid to let me know. Cool. Don't be afraid to let me know. Hit me up, man. Like, hey, what's up? All that good stuff. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get into this game. Joe Dumars open three. No, it's not. But for some reason in this fifth seed, man, and I'm like, I've only played three games. I need to get in there and start playing some more. I haven't really been able to hit open jump shots for some reason. Not necessarily open jump shots, uh, open threes. Like, I, just, I haven't been able to hit a three, like, hit the three ball consistently all seed long. Even though I get a lot of wide open looks by a lot of guys who have pretty good three point ratings, a lot of perfect release misses. So I'm thinking I might have to go ahead and sl slide off that three point line, which shouldn't be too difficult because I do have uh, Patrick Ewan. I do have Hakeem not in the lineup right now. I do have Penny Hardaway who does have that uh, that size mismatch in the post. As you see right here, hit him with. The oh! I do have Kufis. I do have Pierce who can post up. I can throw Clyde Drexler out there. I do have players who can get to the rim, so it shouldn't be too hard to bring my game inside the uh, the three-point line. So I need to start doing it. I need to focus on that more. But I think what, what happens is since I don't play it enough, I kind of get caught up in the, uh, you know, forgetting that my threes aren't falling. And then I just get in there and start bombing threes again. So I need to uh, be more mindful of that. And this was just a, that was just a lazy, wow, voice crack. This is a lazy pass. I don't know what I was doing. And James Harden hits that flip over the head, man. That, this dude, I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. When I first jumped in, I saw his team. I was like, good lord, his team is stacked. And he still had, uh, he still had them boys coming off the bench, man. His team was, his team was set. He was ready to go. But one thing, I mean, he, he, I did notice he actually runs his game through the post. Which is one thing you don't see a whole lot. People who actually, you know, try to use the post game, try to dump the ball inside. And in my opinion, the post game is pretty hard to stop. It's a lot harder to stop than isolation. Because there's so many different moves you can do. And, it, and usually it's somebody who can score near the basket. So it's pretty hard to deal with, especially uh, by someone who actually can score. And go ahead, alley -oop. Oh! And, um... You know, there's so many different moves you can do, man. It's just, it, in general, it, to me, it's pretty hard to stop consistently. But, you know, I, I uh, and that, I don't know what happened there. I was, I ran the play. Penny's supposed to cut when that screen is set, and he just kind of stood there. He was just hanging out, chilling. And uh, that right there, that Pierce was, he was wide open because the dude got caught on the screen. He just supposed, I, I figured he was just going to stand there near the basket. And he was like, nope, let me cut to the other side. So, I mean, after playing, oh, I played okay in the first half. And I went from playing okay to playing, like, pure ass at the start of the third. So I was like, you know what, call the timeout. Because my players are they're acting stupid. So I need I need them to calm the hell down and stop being retarded. And uh, that's the, basically the plan right now. Joe Dumars ah, finally hit a three. And uh, to me, this was a this was a good point in the game where I felt like okay, I finally hit a perimeter jump shot. Maybe now I can start getting some threes to go because you know how usually that's how the game works. Like as soon as you get that first uh, you know that first perimeter shot to go, 
then uh, you know you can start you can start hitting them again. Either that or the game's just trolling you to make you think you can start hitting three balls and then you know you start missing them and shit. But definitely uh, hitting that you know hitting that perimeter shot, man, definitely gave me more confidence in my perimeter game. Let's go ahead and then Mr. Dumars off the this was a bad shot because he was right in my face. Ah, Mr. Dumars knocks it in. And while this is, isn't what I wanted, it's actually a, a really close game heading into the fourth quarter. I don't want close games heading into the fourth quarter. I want I want to be up comfortable. I want to have the lead. And I want to relax. So, you know, um, go ahead and, mm, I run that play a lot. Well, not a lot. I run it uh, once or twice a game. And um, pretty much in this fourth quarter... Like, we were both kind of trading bad shots for bad shots. And, um, like, it, it, it actually went on for, like, a couple minutes where we were just both running up and down the court taking pretty bad shots, which was kind of funny. But then after a while, I kind of thought about it. I was like, man, this is a... Uh, I feel like I was wasting this opportunity. Like, this was a pretty good opportunity I had to kind of extend this lead a little bit. I was up by three. Want to get it up to two possessions at least. Like, you don't want to just be trading bad shots back and forth because, uh, like, if you're missing shots, the person in the lead who's missing, that's, that's keeping the person who's down in the game. And you don't want to do that. You want to try to take advantage of all your offensive opportunities. And I wasn't doing that. And it just, it just, the game just kind of got crazy a little bit. So I needed to kind of slow myself down a little bit and just kind of focus in on what I was doing. End up taking a bad shot there but of course my homeboy Mr. Rodman with the putback and Rodman man, he, he he came out of nowhere he, well not out of nowhere he's, he's been doing it for me ever since I had him on my team he I mean he's he's really come off the bench and played really well on the glass for me man he always gets on the glass that scrapper definitely helps man he, he come flying out of nowhere plus he's got that speed in that uh in the, the the vertical to kind of get himself off the ground get some rebounds over those bigger players and then uh pretty much like uh him and morning have put me in a really good oh! put me in a really good position uh in that fourth quarter man they just they really can cold can cold controlled the glass for me and it's uh it actually helped me get this uh get my lead up a little bit Put it up to two possessions. And if the game's on the line, I gotta give it to Pierce. That's why I gave him the closer. Gotta give him the gotta give him the ball, man. Even though he hasn't been hitting for me all game. I trust him with the ball. Hit Mr. Ewan. For some reason, if I get perfect release, I've missed the shot. But if I if I time it early or late, then it goes in. I don't know why, but it's 2K for you. Can't really do nothing about it. Luckily, uh, Westbrook misses that layup, and I'm sitting pretty comfortable. And I'm just going to go ahead and dribble the clock out to wind this game down. So definitely a good game to Mr. Eric Smooth. Appreciate you. Uh, appreciate you watching. Appreciate you not playing like a douchebag. This is how you not play like a douchebag. man. You don't have to go through the post all the time. But don't play. You don't have to play like a dick. man. That's all I'm saying. You don't have to. But anyway. Just uh, looking at the stats. I mean he, he shot pretty good percentage from the field I don't normally like letting you know I mean you know having the other person shoot a pretty good percentage you see my boy Robin off the bench seven boards eight points in my opinion he was definitely player of the game in only nine minutes he I mean he played great for me and it was pretty much the rebound and that was the difference in the game my guys got on the glass that's what that scrapper's there for man get my big bodies on the glass 